Well, hey neighbor, it's me, Angie. Come on in. I have the door open for you. Come on, get in here. We have things to talk about. You know, we always have things to talk about. You have things you want to tell me. I have things I want to tell you. Then there's those subjects in between that, you know, that we love to chit chat about that, well, it's only in our neighborhood that we can talk about it. But anyway, we'll try to solve the world's problems, um, fix anything that needs to be fixed, uh, admit that we're not perfect, uh, talk about how uh, and uh, how we failed and what our faults are, and yet still people love us and care about us. Imagine that. You can have faults and people still love you. Some people don't think that. They think you have to be perfect for someone to like for someone to like them or for them to like you. Well, I'm never going to be perfect. Never, never, never. Can you imagine the responsibility of being perfect? No, no, no. I don't want that responsibility. Anyway, I do want to remind you all that I am wanting to get 55 birthday cards. 55 birthday cards for my birthday on May the 17th. And you guys have responded because I'm getting cards that are coming in now. I'm so excited about it. I don't really know how many I have now. I've been putting them in a box. I don't want to be tempted to uh, open any of them until the 17th of May, which I plan on going live. Um, I don't really know what time it'll be, central time, but um, I'll put it out a day or two ahead to let everyone know exactly when the birthday party live is gonna be. Uh, I've never really given myself a birthday party, so I don't really know what that entails. Uh, I do plan on giving away a few things at my party, but I don't really know what yet. James and I have talked about it, but I don't really know. I don't, I don't really know anything. I learned that when I turned 40. You know, before I turned 40, I thought I knew everything. I turned 40 and realized I don't know anything. And then I began to learn. So, there you go. But, um, today, our subject, now come on in, get your drink. I got the table set. Um, I hope one day on one of my lives that I can get several people up in my on the panel and we can all um, have a discussion about one subject that everybody chooses that they would like to talk about. And we can just discuss that uh, topic. And then, you know, let the chat um, chime in and let us know what they're thinking and what, because you know the chat's important, really the most important thing. Without the chat, you have no live. I mean, the chat's very important. You know, a lot of people think when you play a sport that there's only certain positions that are important, like you know, on a baseball team, the pitcher. Well, the pitcher can't do anything without the other players, especially without the catcher. And then you got to have the outfield, the bases, the shortstop. I mean, every position is important. And when we all learn that, then we'll know that we have value, which you're going to, you have value anyway. Just for being a human being, you have value. And that's one thing that I really wanted to talk to you about today is, um, you know, I never really wanted to be anybody else growing up. You know, some people idolize other people and, and they're envious or jealous of other people. Uh, number one, the way they look, what they have, the job they have. And I can honestly say I never was that type of person. Uh, I never was envious of anything else anybody else had. I was always so happy for other people to get things and to become successful and to be prosperous. Um, I always never, I never wanted to be as pretty as someone else or as small as someone else. I always rated myself according to myself not according to somebody else. But you know, a lot of people look at these people on TV and they want to be that small or that pretty or they want their complexion to be uh, as pretty as what they see on TV or they want their figure to be, uh, you know, the same way or their boobs to be as big or as small. 
I mean, why? I don't understand that. And I'm sorry to say that because I'm not trying to put anybody down that's ever done what I just gave an example of because I'm just trying to let you know you are beautiful just the way you are. Now, if you're saying that you're not, then we're saying that God uh, or whoever you worship has made a mistake. And my God, who I serve, he makes no mistakes. So I know I wasn't a mistake. Now, I might have been a result of a one-night stand, which I was. And thank God, because if that hadn't happened, I wouldn't be here. Now, I've never blamed my mother for that. Uh, as far as me being a result of a one-night stand, she and I just have never had a good relationship because she never, I felt like she never accepted me uh, because of that happening. But that's her story to tell, not mine. But anyway, I've always liked me. And I don't mean that in a vain way or a uh, proud way. I just mean, I, I always just thought, well, let me see what I can improve about myself. Not, I didn't look at others and say, oh, I'd like to have their hair, or I'd like to have their eyes, or I wish I had their figure, or no. I always would look at myself and say, what kind of improvements can I make to make myself happier or like myself more or make myself feel better. And um, that's what I always tried to do. You know, just tried to look at myself and see what I could change. And, you know, change doesn't come overnight. It takes time. And all change is not bad. You know, people will tell you, oh, I hate change. I don't like change. Well, you know, sometimes change can be good. It can lead you into uh, meeting new people, starting a new career. Uh, no, I didn't like the change I got when I was become bound to a wheelchair. But now, I mean, I would have never met you all had I not got in this situation because I would still be working at the library. Um, I would have never been introduced to YouTube because and if I had of, I would have never took the time to have a channel and and make videos and all that. I already know that because I know me. Uh, so by me becoming like I am today, uh, I've found you and I've found my friends and my neighbors. So that is a positive thing that's come out of my handicap. Have there been other things that's come out that's positive? Yes. I always try to look at the good in everything that happens. And I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. Now, I know everybody does not have the same belief system, belief system as I do. And that's fine. You believe what you want to believe. And please allow me to believe what I want to believe. And we'll have no problem. Because I'm willing to allow you to believe what you want to believe. And I'm still going to be your friend. Anyway. What I wanted to say is, I know some people, until I became heavy, and when I say heavy, I've never been this size in my entire life. I never really knew what it meant when someone was overweight as much as I am, and they would be down and out about themselves. I would say, don't worry about it. Don't worry what, what people think about what you look like, what you do, or whatever. But I can see where they feel that way now, that I am as big as I am. Um, I can see how handicapped people can feel bad about going out in public because immediately when you go out in public and you're on one of those scooters, you know, those, um, yeah, scooters like I have, people think because you think they think, but you can't really know what a person's thinking, um, that they're thinking that you're just lazy, that you've got yourself in the situation that you're in. The reason you can't walk is because you're so big. You can't hold yourself up. Um, you're not healthy. You know, sometimes that goes through my mind. But then again, I think, they don't know my story. 
They don't know what I've been through. They don't know what I struggle with. So why should I worry about why they, or what they think about me being on a scooter or in a wheelchair? Now, if they'd come up and ask me what I, why I'm in a wheelchair or why I'm on a scooter, I'd be glad to tell them. But the point I'm trying to make is, and I know I've said this before, find who you are. If you don't know, start looking. Start, start off with, what do I really like? Do I like things just because people told me that I like things? You know, I found that out in my life sometimes. I would hear people say, oh, Angie likes to do this and she'd like to do that. So it became a part of me. But then when I really got to thinking about who I really am, I would think, I, I don't really like doing that. I, I don't know where they got that idea. And you just need to search deep inside you and find out who you really are. And if you say, well, I, I don't have anything I like. Start trying things. You know, start sewing. Start seeing if you can draw. Start writing. Start having a YouTube channel. Start talking to others. You know, I would say make a list. I love lists. I do lists all the time. And put down 10 things that you want to try. Maybe within 6 months to a year. Because that's what I want to, that's what I do. And then as you accomplish them, check them off. Go back and read it every so many weeks or so and see if you've already done that. Just get in your mind that, hey, I want to try this type of food. Or I want to go here. Or I want to uh, step out and do something on YouTube. I mean, just write something down and go for it. But when you do, make sure that you tell people, guess what? I would never have done this, but I decided that I was going to try it. I mean, just do that. You only live once. You only have one life to live. So, just, and life is too short. We've said that over and over again. So, my challenge to you is, go out and do something that you've never done before. No matter how simple, how minute it may sound or you think it sounds to others just do it and then you start off with the little things and then each time something else will come to your mind and say oh i would like to try that or wear a different color you know you might wear the same color all the time same eyeshadow same lipstick same fingernail polish same shirts same jewelry you may tote the same kind of purse. Change up. Buy something different. You know, buy a different color shirt. Uh, wear your hair a different way. Look at things different. I had someone to tell me one time, change your perception on something. You know, you may perceive something one way, but try to turn yourself and look at it another way and when you start changing your perception then your whole life starts changing because then you're not looking at anything the same you're not looking at other people the same way and while we're speaking of people come on in here get closer now i do understand that everybody cannot like everybody and who would want that i mean if everybody liked me what a big responsibility did that would that be for me to have all that responsibility would just be, I don't know if I could handle it. Maybe I could. I want everybody to like me, but I don't expect them to. But, you know, there are people out there that seem to be your friend, and they're not. Be careful. Now, over the 55 years, I've encountered that. But once that happens, immediately, you've got to distance yourself from that person. Because if you don't, they'll start devouring you. And they'll start taking your energy, your, you know, everything you are. They'll try to zap it right out of you. Don't allow that to happen. 
Don't ever let anybody take your joy, your happiness, uh, your freedom. Because some people want to control you. I know. I know that sounds crazy. But they do. And once you recognize that they, that person's trying to do that to you, you cannot not see it. I mean, once you see something, you can't unsee it. Uh, so just remember... Watch yourself. Be you. People are going to love you. I know they are. Because when you're real, people love real. No matter how raw it is, people love real. Now, what they don't like is being phony and pretending you're something that you're not. And then finding out you've lied the whole time. Now, people don't like to be deceived. So, I'm here to tell you to watch out for people that seem to be real nice and then you find out that they're not. You know, don't ever go back to enemy camp. Stay away. There's more people out in the world that you can be friends with. You don't have to go back to where someone's hurt you. I mean, when someone hurts you and, and betrays you, you don't have to be ugly, but you don't go back there and, and uh, you can forgive them. But you don't go back to that camp and want to join them again. At least I don't. I mean, trust is hard to build once you lose it. So down in the chat, put down there things you might gonna things that you're gonna try that you've never tried before. Things that you might write down that you would like to tell us and share with us. Things about you know if you've ever been betrayed by someone, found out that they were acting one way, and then you find out they're something else then maybe if someone has ever tried to control you you know tried to get you to do things that they wanted you to do instead of being you you know just everything we've talked about just try to comment on it today but this has been our neighborhood chat and next time neighbor we may talk about our real neighbors and what they're doing but shh we won't tell that right now. But anyway, neighbor, don't forget, like, share, subscribe, ring that bell so you'll know the next time I'm on here ready for our neighborhood chat. Oh, and don't forget to comment. Don't forget, send me an email about sending me a birthday card. My email address is uh, in my about page on my channel. Until next time, neighbor, bye.